He is known for being an American writer celebrated for his novels. Recognized as a music journalist, environmental activist, and columnist, he has made significant contributions to the field of literature. Silas Dwayne House's fiction is renowned for its focus on the natural world, working-class characters, and the challenges faced by rural communities. In the world of literature, one name stands out, Silas Dwayne House, an American writer whose impact on storytelling is undeniable. House is best known for his captivating novels that delve into the complexities of the human experience. But his talents don't stop there. He is also a music journalist, environmental activist, and columnist, using his voice to shed light on important issues. What sets House's fiction apart is his keen attention to the natural world. His stories bring to life the beauty and struggles of the environment, painting vivid pictures of landscapes and ecosystems. But it is not just the scenery that House captures, he also delves into the lives of working-class characters, giving a voice to those often overlooked in literature. But perhaps what makes House truly remarkable is his role as a representative for LGBTQ Appalachians and Southerners. In a region where acceptance can be a challenge, House fearlessly embraces his identity and uses his platform to advocate for LGBTQ rights. His visibility as an LGBTQ person associated with rural America is an inspiration to many, breaking down stereotypes and showing that love and acceptance are possible in any setting. Silas Dwayne House's work is a testament to the power of storytelling and the importance of using one's voice for change. Through his novels, journalism, and activism, he has left an indelible mark on the literary world and on the lives of those he represents. House's legacy serves as a reminder of the profound impact literature can have on society, and the power of storytelling to bring about understanding and change. Silas House, a talented writer from the southern United States, made a significant impact with his first novel, Clay's Quilt. Published in 2001, it quickly gained popularity and even landed a spot on the New York Times bestseller list. The success of the book spread through word of mouth, particularly in the southern region. It was not only a finalist for the Southeast Booksellers Association Fiction Award but also for the Appalachian Writers Association Book of the Year Award. Continuing his streak of accomplishments, House released his novel A Parchment of Leaves in 2003. This book became a national bestseller and earned nominations for several prestigious awards. It was a finalist for the Southern Book Critics Circle Prize and received the award for special achievement from the Fellowship of Southern Writers, among others. The recognition and praise continued to pour in for House and his exceptional storytelling abilities. With his next book, The Cold Tattoo, House once again found himself in the spotlight. The novel became a finalist for the Southern Book Critics Circle Prize and won the Appalachian Writers Association Book of the Year Award, the Kentucky Novel of the Year Award, and various others. Esteemed writers such as Lee Smith, Brad Watson, and Larry Brown, who had been mentors to House, championed his work. Notable authors like Barbara Kingsolver and Wendell Berry also expressed their admiration for House's talent and character. In 2009, House collaborated with creative non-fiction writer Jason Kyle Howard to publish Something's Rising. This book featured profiles of anti-mountaintop removal activists, including influential figures such as musicians Gene Ritchie and Kathy Mateo. The book garnered high praise, with esteemed author and oral historian Studs Terkel describing it as, revelatory, in his endorsement. Writers Lee Smith and Hal Crowther co-authored the introduction, further highlighting the significance of House's work. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.